Hi everybody. Well today my video is going to be about husbandry and how on point that you actually need to be with your snakes. Uh, we know it's essential that you get their husbandry right um, or do it to the best of your ability. So how do you know what is what your snake needs there are so many books out there guys that will give you that information on all the individual species or whatever species that you specifically have in your life um, excuse me while i i just stop and i will um, get lily out and i hope that you'll enjoy um, me just giving you a few sort of bits of information and a little bit of a joke too I guess to some degree when it comes to my lily um, when it comes to husbandry um, and what what she requires and so on but um, let's open the door but it is important to know uh, what humidity your snake needs uh, what temperatures your snakes need what your snake is as in is it ter terrestrial is is it is it the right word in the way you pronounce it because it always sounds like extraterrestrial um, to me uh, semi arboreal arboreal you know which one is it uh, because these are the sorts of things that uh, you need to know um, about the species of snake that you've decided to keep in your life. Uh, they are, you know, we all know that they require food, water, as their survival as such, but their humidity, their temps are as equally important to them to live happy and healthily as captive kept snakes and we do that all artificially uh, as well so you know you've got to know what it is that your snake particularly requires Lily for example you know I keep her temperatures up under her heat panel at around the 31 now Lily comes from uh, you know the the I, I'm not really sure okay I, I, I don't know her lineage I don't know where she comes from um, let's just say for example she is more up in the Palmerston area here in Queensland which has fairly moderate uh, weather where it's neither going to be well it gets quite warm but it's kind of subtropical so her humidity levels would be reasonably high also her temperatures would get rather high and wouldn't get extremely low in the cooler months either would they lily hey you get fairly beautiful weather all year round so yeah i don't have her cool end cool i don't have it hot either she has varying temperatures within her enclosure she can have the 31 up under a heat she gets to about 28 or so mid and over this end can be as low as 25 and lily can spend a lot of time over this side of her enclosure in the cooler side so they know but you've got to provide that for them I do use heat panels um, for some of my snakes such as Lily and Maya Apani I'm um, not Apani um, Tessa Jessie um, there is a heat panel in this one uh, down here so I do like the heat panels and also Sia has a heat panel I've got another enclosure which has a heat panel in 
which ultimately I think Oscar, my coastal, is going to end up in for a while as well. But, you know, Lily is classified as semi-arboreal. She spends a lot of time up off the ground and likes to sleep up off the ground. I, like I've said many, many times, I don't even know why I have hides in her enclosure, but some snakes do like to have that just for their comfort. They feel safe in them, etc. Um, not all snakes do and Lily certainly does not fit the category of being one of those snakes because she is fairly comfortable in her surroundings here. Lily has spent a lot of her life here in front of me, um, around noise, around lots of things in this particular room and yet she still never ever hides away in her hides. So when we say you know, on point with their husbandry. I think, you know, if you have a snake that likes to hide away, then on point with husbandry is providing hides in the cool end and the warm end for them. And don't skimp on it. You know, you want your snake to be comfortable and feeling safe so that they do eat for you. Um, you want to see them thermal regulating, going from the heat to the cool. If they're staying over at the cool site all of the time, you know it's too hot over the hot site. So turn it down. Only has to be one, by one degree and then um, see what happens. If they're still sticking to that cool site, switch it down another degree. Then observe and notice when they're starting to come over to warm up and go back over and cool over. As I said, Lily spends a lot of time on the cool side and the times where I see her over under the heat can be on those colder nights. Um, she makes her way there. Would you like a bit of a helping hand, sweetie? I'll just get a little bit more of her out. I'm just helping to get that big bit of her out so that she can get a bit more of a grip up there and do whatever Lily is going to do. But why I said I'm, I'm making a bit of a joke about it, you know, providing the right husbandry and the right heating and humidity and so forth, Lily spends pretty much her life out in this room. She has varying temperatures from lower down to higher up and obviously humidity must be okay and acceptable to Lily. She has never been sick with an RI um, or anything like that. That tells me it's not good for her to be out. Um, even though at times I sort of think to myself, Lily, are you going to go home? And it's a, just a no-go. Um, I always end up at the end of the night uh, putting Lily back home and I often questioned, you know, what is it about her enclosure? What doesn't she like about her enclosure? And it's not about her enclosure. It's about, it's just much better out here, I think, for, for Lily. So husbandry is extremely important. And the best, as I said, way to do that is to read up about it. Um, and then, of course, tweak it to what your particular snake likes um, you know that doesn't mean you can't have belly heat or you have basking heat I think if you have a semi arboreal um, basking heat is good because they like to get up onto a branch and get up under that heat um, and have top heat some you can provide both for um, top and belly heat it's, it's really, in the end, what you see, what your snake tells you. You know, I've got some pretty tall enclosures. My snakes over the winter, you know, especially, say, Jesse, for example, who will go into hide when he's in shed, he's on the floor. 
uh, I will provide belly heat for him. Um, that top heat isn't going to hit the floor and in winter it can get pretty cold. So, Lily, you just prefer it out here. If it's a really, look, it's a beautiful sunny day today. It's not overly cold, so I don't need the heating on. But in winter, if it's getting chilly, and the house is cold and Lily's wanting out, then I do put the heater on. Even if I'm warm enough, I know it's not warm enough for her, but she heads right up top and she gets right up there. And I know, as we know, heat rises and Lily knows it does too. So she keeps nice and warm up there. So, there you go. Of course, Lily is out. And uh, I don't know who else is going to be wanting out today, but I'm sure there will be more that do want to come out. So, I'll say, take care of yourself, and your family and your friends, your snakes, and all your animals. And Lily, where are you going to go? I guess I could never guess, could I? But I kind of can guarantee you're going to go up there, aren't you? Although she has been sleeping right up the top there for the last couple of days. Ciao.